Riot.com for the tickets. We're giving away tickets and a meet and greet with Quiet Riot. Night of the show. If you go to WMMS.com, keyword contest, you can register there. I got a couple of tickets here to get you in. Get your costume all squared away. Uh, the Halloween Bash, MMS, with Quiet Ride at the Agora. Good luck. Caller 12, 216 578 or 800 Uh, Cavaliers doing more preseason stuff Friday night here on MMS. They'll be in Detroit playing the Pistons. Vinny Microwave Jones and the Detroit Pistons. Johnson. <laughs> yeah, close enough, right? Uh, 7 o'clock here on MMS. So your pregame coverage will begin uh, right after we get out of here around 6.30 on Friday. I saw that Rip Taylor died. He's one of these guys that a lot of people thought was already dead. Yeah, I was a little shocked. I, I posted that picture on uh, Instagram of me in the Infinity... What's that? Infinity called? Scarf? Infinity Scarf, and one of the comments was, Oh, Rip Taylor. And then he died over the weekend. He goes, ah, I shouldn't have mentioned Rip Taylor. Felt he like jinxed, he jinxed you. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So thanks, Aaron. You killed Rip Taylor. Rip Taylor. With what your mean comment. R.I.P. Rip. Well, a lot of people would confuse him with Rip Torn, who also died earlier in the year. But Rip Taylor was the guy who, you know, he was a confirmed bachelor. He just mm -hmm. never found the right girl. and uh, But he was in the showbiz for a long time. He had to run around with a mustache. Hi! You know, very the flamboyant. Confetti. The confetti in the house. Oh, stop! Mm -hmm. And uh, he did Broadway, and he did TV, and he did films, and he did Vegas, and the whole thing. Uh, but he was one of these guys. When I told my wife, she goes, "I thought Rip Taylor died a while ago." I did too. And I, I had I to think stop and think it about before. it. Yeah, yeah, I had to think about it for a second too. Uh, he was 84, died in Beverly Hills. The guy still lived in Beverly Hills. So uh, whatever uh, niche he had carved out for himself in showbiz, he's born in D.C. He uh, went to the Korean War. He served. He came back, started doing stand up. And then I think the Ed Sullivan show uh, made him uh, famous. But he did a lot of movies. And, you know, he dyed his hair and the mustache mm -hmm. and, you know. Yeah, the scarf. He's always wearing a scarf. The scarf and he has the confetti and mm -hmm. all sorts of fun stuff going You thought on. he was going to throw yeah. a bucket of water on yep. you, but it was confetti. Ah, oh, what a gag. It's what like a uh, gag. going to a Globetrotters show. I like Billy Eichner's tweet. He also liked... Uh, <laughs> Never mind. What? The Globetrotters for different reasons. The what? Yeah, I mean, he's in the... Uh, never mind. Uh, Rip Taylor? Yeah. What are we talking about? Rip Taylor and the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. Help me Help me. Tall understand. athletic black guys. Oh, did he like black guys? I don't know. Oh, who Rip Taylor? Know, yeah. Oh. I mean, who doesn't? He was a gay dude, but yeah. I, I don't know if he had a, a preference for black dudes. I'm saying he wouldn't send them away. I see. You never saw him with another guy, though, I don't think. No, I, don't I don't know so. if he had a significant other or what, but he was a... Billy Eichner tweeted, um, I can't imagine how much BS you had to deal with in an industry that decided it was finally cool to be a gay man in comedy about a year ago. R.I.P. Rip Taylor. Yeah, so... Because I think he was still... He probably did something on, you know, Channel 300, but he very famously had a hair piece that he would mm -hmm. take off, and that was part of his gag. That was, that was a very funny part of the gag. Especially, yeah. I, I can remember the first time I saw it. Like, I wasn't really familiar with him, but he was in Wayne's World 2. Yep. And he did a little bit on there, and I think at the end of the movie, he takes his toupee off and, like, sticks it against the wall or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so goddamn funny. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he uh, he had a long storied career in Hollywood. Uh, Carrot Top, however, says, Rip Taylor never liked me. You know, Carrot Top uh, has planted his flag in Vegas, and so he would cross paths with uh, Rip Taylor pretty frequently. But he said that um, uh, Rip Taylor never uh, took a shine, never liked me. He always accused me of stealing his act. Because Rip Taylor was technically a prop comic, I mm -hmm. guess. 
boy, I know what he's done to himself, but I got to tell you, still get freaked out every time I see a photo of Carrot Top. He's not as jacked as he once was. No, but whatever but his he did. His face is crazy. I looking. was going to say, what he did to his face cannot be undone. He so. looks, you were talking about Hunger Games earlier. He looks like one of those people that lives in Pan Am that's got all the body modifications and starts to look like a cat. I guess so. Yeah, he's crazy looking. So, Carrot Top, um, it's hard to tell how old he is. He's probably uh, my age, I would imagine. I think he's a little older than you, even. Oh, he's 54. Yeah. Scott Thompson. I guess it's good for the other Scott Thompson from Kids in the Hall that he goes by Carrot Top. He goes by Carrot Top. Yeah, but boy, he really he got jacked, and he did s stuff to his face, and I'm not sure why he did that. That's a yeah. question only Scott Thompson can answer. But um, yeah, for he, the respect uh, that you get from doing things to your face, right? In Las Vegas, he wanted people to take him serious as a comedian, and so he's like, I have to look the part. I wonder what he was going for. I wonder what about his face he didn't like about himself. Because his face, it doesn't look like he had anything changed. It just looks like he has everything pulled. Yeah, I, I think it's he not like he got a nose any... job or anything. I, I don't think. I don't know. I think he's got some like cheekbone implants. Really? He looks weird. Wow. And he, yeah, he is very shiny. He's got that shiny thing going. Huh. They should make a Joker movie about him. <laughs> or, like, have him play the Joker. That'd be the scariest Love incarnation. Love that Joker. Yeah. Alan you know, Artie Johnson died today. Uh, Artie Johnson died in July. I don't know who sent me that, but Artie Johnson's been dead for a few months. The guy from Laugh-In. Uh, Rip Torn. No, I know he died because I was a huge, huge Larry Sanders fan. So it wasn't Rip Torn I was thinking of. I just think I thought Rip Taylor had died, you know? He was in Jackass, wasn't he? Like, oh the, yeah, hi, at the end that's, of uh, that might have been the one where he took in the his, credits or something. Yeah, 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 he was in the credits, and that's I think that's the one where he took his two pay off. But he was also in Wayne's World too. There you go. So. That was his bit. Yeah, yeah, it's a funny bit. Uh, if you go to alancockshow.com, you can go there directly to watch the live stream of the show. Uh, Christie's Instagram hotties are up there too, volume sixty three. And Bill told a story a while ago about um, a guy who was in an adjacent building to his, who was going to jump off the roof. And they, what is this, body cam footage that they have of this? Yeah, body cam. They, and they, That's they posted show, at the show site. where They, they show they, it from both officers' body cam. So you get the, if you go further into it, you see the officer that gets to him first and like tackles him as the guy's making a run for it to try and jump off the building. So Lakewood cops are on the roof. So the guy was going to do a running leap off of the building, Yeah, and they stop him. He wasn't just going to like lean forward well, or he, hop like, down. At, at first, when they got up there, he was at the edge of the building. Yeah. And then they talk him over to the middle of the building, and then he starts to make a run for it, and they go and get tackled. Oh, he fakes him out? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm watching this right now. It's pretty intense. intense. It's amazing. The, <laughs> it, it, it's right out of my mouth. It, but, I mean, think about it. When you've gotten to the point where, like, you don't want to live anymore... There are a lot of ways you can do it. Nothing's going to stop you. No. Well, something's going to stop <laughs> These you. These officers I mean, stopped them. They stopped them, but I mean, imagine you saying I'm going to do a running leap off of a roof. Because you don't die instantly. Like, you it's, got mm, a second to, yeah, you got you got a second to think about it think on the way about, down. Yeah. Like, this was a mistake. <laughs> and you're, nothing says you're going to die instantly when you hit. Right. You could lie there and... I'm always worried about that. Like, if I ever were to do that... I would be afraid, like, if I was to shoot myself, I will get the wrong part of my brain to where I'm still functional and, like, I, my life's, consi like, considerably worse now that I have sure. half my head missing and I'm known as the guy who tried to commit suicide but was, was too dumb to not be able to do it. So then, yeah, I was <laughs> See, I never miss. He's worried about getting the wrong part of his... By the way, which part of your brain would leave you still kind of functional, Pound There's people... If I, you got the wrong place. I don't know. All right. The Just cerebellum, asking. I mean, I mean for you. I don't know. The cerebrium is the part... Yeah, there you go. The medulla oblongata. I hope he, I don't cerebrium. get his cerebrium. I'm going to aim for his cerebrium, though. I... <laughs> you missed. <laughs> the little one. <laughs> oh, God. His cerebrium. Oh, I love it. Hmm. So anyway, that's there. Lakewood police officers save a man from jumping off a roof. And those two cops uh, were awarded medals of honor. It's really like a standoff. This guy is standing there with his hands on his hips like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Well, he's talking to him, too. Oh, you see his belly button. Oh, go back. 
Is he like an older guy? Like no, it's not no, loading like, for me. So he's, I can't. He's not really that see. old. He's he's probably. He does try to make it run. Probably like maybe late thirties, early forties. Okay. I don't think he's that old. Oh, and he's is. not wearing any shoes. That's interesting. Like you want to go with no shoes? I wouldn't want anybody. That's the last thing people see is my ugly feet. That's what you're worried about? Yeah. That you would jump with no shoes well, on. this is also why he wouldn't commit suicide. Because he's like, well, I got to put some shoes on. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> die in like a messy room because I'm like, ugh, they, he was living in filth. No wonder he did it. So I would have to have like. Is there any cursing in this? I don't think so. Uh, there might be. I mean. I don't think so. I do getting ready to die. I don't think he's concerned about language. But there's like a chain that's them tackling him when he runs. But there's it looks like there's a chain link fence around the perimeter of the building or something. That was on one side. On one side. But that's the side he ran toward. No, he was running in I don't think he was running towards that side. He he clung on to that side after they he knew he wasn't gonna make it to the one side that didn't have a fence. Wow. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. If he was black, he would have no problem jumping that fence. <laughs> oh yeah? Shoes are off. The male is getting restless. Hey Pancake. Do you have your light on in there? Uh, kind of I have my beam lights. Not the... Not the major light, no. Not the major, major light. light. Okay, we're just getting some buzz. It might be because it, the microphone's too close to my headphones. Could be. Maybe it's just good buzz over the Alan Cox Show live video feed. Oh, that could at be At alancockshow.com. Yeah. I have $1,000 to give to you for the foreseeable future. Plenty of chances for you to go fund yourself with $1,000. So good luck. Your shot at $1,000 now. now. Text the nationwide keyword FISH, F-I-S-H, to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's FISH to 200-200. Go fund yourself on WMMS. There you go. And um, it, uh, apologies to our prison population for the word FISH. If you look at about like 4.30 into the video, you see where the fence was and where he was running to. So you That's see the, what I saw. You see, was, you see the other mm -hmm. cop's angle. Looked like they pushed him up against the fence. They probably did. Mm. Nice view, though. I mean, if you're going to go, I mean, at least you get a pretty view on the way down. <laughs> a pretty view on the way down. You of, see the skyline, like, last for half a second, and then you see the ground rushing up to meet you. Last skyline I'll, see, I'll ever see. And you got Cleveland's three buildings. Fantastic. Alan, I took care of a patient that shot himself straight through the head. The bullet lodged in his skull, and he is still alive. See? That's what I'm talking about. And yeah. you're forever known as that dude. And so you got to live with that embarrassment. And that will be, that's even worse. Or if it goes d right between the two hemispheres of your brain. And, you know, maybe you have uh, trouble with your fine motor skills. Right, some that screw you up, not enough to kill you, but, and, and but you, just what if you gotta, make, forever, the, make yeah. the rest of your life really unenjoyable. And, and, like, that's what I'm saying. At least if you're dead, you don't, you don't have to live with the embarrassment or guilt. Now you got to go to your nine to five and put on your suit all over again. And you're like, oh, that's Jim. <laughs> Probably not doing your nine to five. Uh, yeah, he's not going to give you a week off. He shot himself. <laughs> yeah. Got to make a living. <laughs> Did I get him in the cerebrium, Bill? <laughs> Is that what you said, Pancake? Cerebrium? cerebrium. <laughs> yeah. Cerebrium. Uh. Ah, well, what do you do? I was watching the, I don't know if anybody's watching the Creep Show reboot on the Shudder no. app. You watch Shudder? No, I've never seen It's a seen horror that. movie uh, app. It's yeah. pretty good. And Greg Nicotero rebooted Creep Show, which is like one of my favorite movies from the early 80s. And he's doing like... Um, 45 minute episodes with two vignettes per so they're like a nice tight 20 minutes and they're doling them out you can't binge them um but kid cuddy's in one and i don't hear a lot of people talking about kid cuddy anymore everybody talks about mgk and you know but i don't hear people giving uh, kid cuddy any cleveland love anymore he doesn't really promote his cleveland love honestly mgk you can't go anywhere or do anything without him saying he's from Cleveland. No, like I know. Instagram or whatever. I don't really hear too much. If I didn't know Kid Cudi was from Cleveland, I wouldn't know Kid Cudi was from Cleveland. Huh. Honestly. Well, it's an episode called Bad Wolf Down about some World War II, like Nazis versus werewolves, and Kid Cudi's in that. It's pretty good. Nazis versus werewolves? Nazis versus werewolves. Who are you cheering for? That's werewolves, right. Werewolves, right? You want the werewolves to kill the Nazis. Yeah, you cheer for the werewolves. Who else would you cheer for in that uh, equation? Well, usually the werewolves Nazis would be the bad v guy. Nazis then... versus fill in the blank. Yeah, you, Nazis you, are you always cheer the for guy. fill in the blank. Right, what, what situation do you cheer? Is there any situation where there's a monster worse than the Nazi? No. Not one. So you got to be Team Jake no matter what? Team what? Twilight. <laughs> Speak to me in English, please. 
Uh, yeah, no. what if it's the Twilight werewolves? Nazis versus fill in the blank. I am voting for who I'm rooting for whoever you fill in the blank with. Okay. Some of those Nazis are pretty hot though, like back in the day. How do you know that? I saw pictures. <laughs> hot Nazis. Yeah, I mean, you think blonde hair, blue eyes, and they're all like ripped, and they're all marching. It's in they're all starving. <laughs> then, then why were the Nazis yeah, starving? They had a high ch- because they were out in the tundra. I don't know. Some of these guys were stationed in places you didn't want to be in. Mm-hmm. They get stuck there. And they have a lot of supplies. Right. The supply the lines yeah. were getting longer and harder to maintain. Hmm. Um, Unless it was Nazis versus other Nazis. Even more Mind Nazis, blown. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. All right. So neo-Nazis of- versus old-fashioned German Nazis. You mean like modern day yeah. Tiki bonehead Nazis. white boy Nazis? Yeah. Well, those guys didn't, uh, they're big fans of the Holocaust. They didn't take part in it. Right. So I got to root for those guys. I got to root for modern Nazis. Boy, this is a hard, real tough one to take. Hard as it is, on. this is yeah. a real, uh, yeah. this is a real. Uh, Bunch of <clears throat> incels over actual Nazis. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't know what to tell you about that. We ask the hard questions here on the Alan Cox Show. <laughs> we really do. Who would you want to see the Nazis win against? Yeah, it's a real Hobson's choice there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you got to vote for modern Nazis over the old ones. Because as much as they yeah. might be, like I said, they sure love the Holocaust. Of well, what about the some Nazi? of them take action, yeah. but they're not uh, out there doing what the old school guys did. Nazis versus Patriots. The New England Patriots? Mm-hmm. They're going to win. I mean, the New England, I mean, Tom Brady, but come who on. Do you, who do you root well, for? I'll root for the Patriots over... Nazis, yeah. Okay. Yes, I would root for any football team over the Nazis. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, no, would. No, Steelers. <laughs> Bill, Nazis <laughs> versus Steelers. <laughs> I gotta, uh, you got to go with Steelers. I got to go with Steelers. Your, hate, <laughs> your hatred of the Steelers God doesn't go it. that deep. Uh, Ooh, that, was man. Hard. that was hard to say. That was tough, wasn't it? I didn't like that. The headline tomorrow will be, Bill Squire roots for the Steelers. <laughs> no. Roots against Nazis. That's what I want the headline to be. Bill Squire <laughs> roots for the Pittsburgh Steelers. No. I heard it headline. on the radio. It's, I heard him say it. I'm against it Nazis. Under, under duress, <laughs> but he still said it. <laughs> oh, that People mean more pissed that you're voting for the Steelers than the Nazis <laughs> voting for. Yeah, I cast my ballot for this football team. And you can. You don't vote for them. Hot Nazis. I'm being told that hot Nazis in the Cerebrium are <laughs> opening for Quiet Riot at our Halloween bash. So that's very exciting. Mm. People are giving me choices now. You know, I'm still going <laughs> to vote Nazis versus the KKK versus Ooh. flat earthers Ooh. versus oh, pedophiles. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Again, pedophiles aren't murdering millions of people. Yeah, I want to go on record as souls, making that clip. Soul, stop it. What are you, five? Souls. Uh, no, if I was five, they would try and come after me. They would try and come after my soul. Soul, your soul. <laughs> you mean that imaginary thing that uh, you think is going to be saved when you die? Nazis. For, I, uh, Someone took your soul. That's why you so butthurt. I'm not butthurt at all. I'm the only one saying unequivocally <laughs> I would Nazis, root against yeah. the Nazis. You I guys said are the that. one. You said you'd root for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Bill. I heard you loud and clear. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes, I said that. That's right. Oh, that hurts. And all about Nazis versus zombie Nazis. I'm rooting for the zombie zombie Nazis. Nazis. Yeah, zombie Nazis. Uh, Hmm. Nazis versus MAGA hats. I'm rooting for the MAGA hats. They're still Americans. And they haven't killed... Six million people. And, well, yeah. and that's also assuming that the half of them wouldn't try to go over to the other side anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, whichever ones were left, I would root for them. That's right. Yeah. Whichever no, no. ones didn't find themselves strangely sympathetic. Or stricken with bone spurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus, there are some good-looking MAGA hats, I will say. There, I like some Hey, listen, there's good-looking everything if you look in the, if you look in the right place. That's not even part of it. <laughs> That's all you're basing. Yeah, good looking trumps. Of good looking trumps everything for, for him, him, right? Yeah. Hey, pound cake. Good news, bad news. Guy's a Nazi. I, I, 
But he's good yeah. looking. I have a tendency to be attracted to people I shouldn't be attracted to, like evil people. Like the the. But you don't base it on evil. You base it on good looking, and everyone, spoiler alert, is attracted to I, good looking people. I, but they're How evil. does that set you like, apart? Like the government, the governor of Puerto Rico, he was really hot. Jared Kushner, he's really hot. Aaron Shook, very hot. I thought uh, we decided that Jared Kushner was not very hot. That he's more rat like. No, he looks like <laughs> a he looks like a Ken doll. Gavin Newsom, pretty hot. Um, yeah. Should, and so you're saying what? I'm just saying I'm attracted to people I probably shouldn't be like attracted to. They're not good people. Gavin Newsom? I didn't hear He's a, a straight up like stand up guy. Gavin Newsom. Okay. You're we'll lumping take, him with Kushner? Right, we'll See, I knew who any of these people are. I that's know. why he's like. He, he was He was the mayor of San Francisco. Was now he, he's, what is he now? Governor of California. Right. I, what else do you know about I've him? just heard people who complain about his policies. Oh, that? stop it. Like MAGA hats complain about Gavin Newsom. He used to be married to that Kimberly Guilfoyle. Who is now married to that, Trump's son, No, right? she dates him. But mm. I don't even know if they're doing that anymore. Hmm. But yeah, she was... Uh, she was uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, has Pound Cake only seen Nazis in the movies? Because those real guys weren't all that good looking. It's not a looker among them. I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe you're thinking of Ray Fiennes in Schindler's List rather than uh, Goebbels in Himmler. And, uh, well, check him out. You know? Who knows? I don't know. I have to look. You go look. I got a break. I'm going to have um, Mansfield Blood Prison passes for you. It ain't Halloween without a trip out to Mansfield, boy. The Reformatory. I'm going to have Dane Cook passes for you later on, too. He's doing the MGM Northfield Park. On Friday, October the 18th, if you want to see Dane Cook, a couple of weeks away. 35192 if you want to text. I'll be back after these.